guided principle that the date for signing is today. So much as we may not have our members, not even all of you will not be able to sign this Tuesday, let us have that. the document that needs to be kept by the management. Meaning, if yours is not ready, kindly spend by the midnight, the midnight oil. If your colleagues need ready, can sign by Monday. Because I have a very ego taking the committee to because we have done a lot of work and all the matters up to where we reached. And about it, and about it all, they are making one request that being the chair of the committee that was working on the performance contracts, they may have some GA challenges here and there. I know wants to sign a document, pass contracts, and keep changing them. I do not wish to start that dispute, but Chairman Sir, I'm requesting that kindly you allow the team that is here as senators, with your permission, have to inform the management of areas they see that need some strengthening. Maybe you have overstated your targets, you have it to be signed in January. Not in a ceremony, but the Vice Chancellor as the CEO of the of the organization to allow such provisions to be made. This so soon. I'm requesting on behalf of the committee that they have been given that we to the management and to us so that we receive this finish as I invite Barnabas. Let me say that we are giving everybody who signs the performance contract or to call it trimesters, but the word we are using is a term, three terms. So the changes we are talking about is after the March crop. Principal, student and alumni are
um, St Professor Stanley Waudo, the Vice Chancellor of Mount Kenya University. Uh, today, we have just finished uh, having a Senate meeting where we have all the top administrators and the lower level administrators, right from the directors of campuses, health departments, directors of uh, directorates, deans of schools, principals, deputy vice chancellor, the vice chancellor. And we thought that this is an important day that we could combine so that we, we finish the Senate and also sign performance contracts. Uh, of course, this is not the first time we are doing that, but last year we had to postpone because of the need to modify our, our tools. And that was done, approved by the council last year, and today was simply signing. And of course, we know the importance of uh, performance contracts. One is that uh, people are given targets. And of course, if you achieve the targets, it means that there's efficiency and effectiveness in the system. And also, once you have effectiveness and, 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 and efficiency, the service delivery is, is high. And as a university, we are committed to providing high quality service in training, uh, research, and uh, service provision. Thank you so much. I start? Okay, my name is uh, Professor David Serem, uh, the chair of uh, the University Council of Mount Kenya University. I'm here today really to witness a very, very important uh, day in the history of Mount Kenya University. I know they've had this uh, performance contract before, uh, but 2015 they, they stopped it because they wanted to, uh, to do a little bit of variation, which they have completed. And today was a very historic day, and I witnessed it, and it was, uh, uh, the function was very, very, very interesting, very nice, because I saw the dedication of the Senate members, and I, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, this performance contract is going to be very effective, uh, because I think it has emanated right from the, the stakeholders. Having served in uh, several public universities, I think I, I bring a lot of experience because there are quite a number of things that we have not done right in public universities, which we can do it here in, in a private university. Um, what I know uh, is that in uh, public universities, there's a lot of bureaucracy. There are so many things that you cannot do because they are, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this and that. But in public university, when you make a decision, and as long as the decision is right, and it's for the benefit of the students and everyone else, they, they move on. But in public university, um, in my, based on my experience, there's a lot of bureaucracy there. What's your message to those who have signed on Yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think the message to, uh, to Senate uh, through the Vice Chancellor is that uh, it should be understood that really what, what gets measured gets done. So it is for them to understand that this thing is for their own good and that they should all take the dedication to make sure that they, they, they believe in it and make sure that they, 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 they operationalize it. Because signing is one thing, but really putting it in operation is another. And so I want to encourage everybody to ensure that the, this performance contract which has been signed today is operationalized the letter. Thank you.